Hello world, Noah here. Welcome to the next episode of Django by Example. In this episode, we're going to learn how to create a template and then load the template in our view. When we left off last time, we essentially had one view that would just return this HTML as its response. But we don't want to put a bunch of HTML inside of our Python code. We want to keep things nice and separate. And so what we'll do is we'll move that HTML into a separate file and we'll load it inside of our view. We're going to want to create a new file inside of the templates directory. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new file, which I'm going to call index.html. And you'll notice that PyCharm has great support for writing HTML. Um, so this will be very easy. We'll go ahead and lay out our standard HTML. Uh, we can include a doc type declaration at the top if we want. And then we just want HTML that has a head and a body. And so we're going to Go ahead and give this a title. We'll call it programming database. We could even say home uh, for a programming database like that. And then we can give it a body. For the body, we want it to have that title just like we had before. Um, so let's just stick that title in there, programming database. OK, this is uh, really, really simple. There is no templating at all, none of that stuff with the two curly braces like that. Just standard old HTML. So our challenge now is to actually load this HTML into our view. So let's get rid of that code. Um, we don't want to actually you know, return our HTML as a string. We want to load it in. So to do this, we're going to create a variable called template. And we're going to say template is equal to loader.getTemplate. And then we're going to specify the name. So uh, import name. We want to load Django.template.loader. And we want to call, of course, the full name index.html. Now you'll notice that as soon as this happens, we get this little H icon in the gutter. And if I click on that, it takes me to the index.html file. Likewise, here we see this Python. And if I click on that, it will take me to the index uh, function. So you can see that there's a link established between that template and that view. And the link is that the view will load that template. So basically, the template variable contains information about the template, and we're going to use it to actually get our response. The next thing that we're going to want is context. Context is going to be a dictionary, and this is basically going to contain all of our information, all of the data that we want to send into the template. For now, there's no data to send. Um, we'll look at that in just a second. So we're just going to make this an empty dictionary. Now we want to return, of course, an HTTP response. And we want to call template.render. And uh, when we go to render the template, we need to give it first the context and then the request. So we're basically saying we want to render the template. We want to give it this particular context for all of the data. And then we want to give it, of course, the request that was given. So what this will do is it will load index.html. It will load that template. And then it will return an HTTP response with that template rendered based on the data that we give it, which right now is nothing. Let's go ahead and run this and just make sure that everything works well. So if I click on this, uh, whoops, I think it just restarted. Let's try again. There we go. So if you click on that, you'll see it has the title, which is home-programming-database. And it has the header, the h1, that says programming-database. Again, there's no HTML code in our Python. We actually loaded this index.html file here, and then we returned an HTTP response with that data. Let's take a look really quickly at basic templating. We're just going to do an example that's not terribly useful, but I think it'll demonstrate the point. Um, so I'm just going to make a paragraph text here, and I'm going to write inside of uh, double curly braces the word message. And you'll notice that in PyCharm, when you write two curly braces, it automatically closes them and puts space in between. So it knows that you're trying to write a template or write part of a template for Django. So when I write message here, you'll notice that it turns um, solid blue. And that means that I'm referring to a variable called message. So if I go ahead and run this right now, you'll notice that nothing happens because there is no variable called message. It doesn't give me an error. It just doesn't do anything at all. But I can specify in my context a value. So for message, I want to specify hello world. 
Again, this is a dictionary, so I give the name, which is message, and the value, which is the string hello world. And if I refresh, you'll see that hello world shows up there. I didn't write hello world in my template. I said, stick whatever the value of message is inside of this paragraph. And in the template, or sorry, in the view, I said, well, for this particular view, the message is going to be hello world. And so it stuck hello world in where it said message, and then it returned the response, so it says hello world. If I change this, for example, to say goodbye world, you'll notice the server restarts, and it now has a different message. Again, this really isn't useful because we would just want to write hello world here, uh, but you'll see uh, when we write our models that this is how we're going to get information from the database and display it in our website. I'm going to leave this here for now. Um, and once we write our models, we can actually go ahead and replace it. But that's a very, very simple template with template loading and very, very simple templating. So we basically have this message variable. Uh, we define the message variable in our context. And so when we go to render with that context, it sticks the message value in for message in the template and renders it. So that's all for this video. As always, subscribe if you want to see more. Click the like button if you enjoyed this video. And continue on for more Django. Bye for now.